at the right time and with a solemn purpose. The Adventist movement was raised as a fulfillment of biblical prophecy to prepare the world for the second coming of Christ. Its divine mission is to proclaim the everlasting gospel to every nation, tribe, tongue, and people, telling them to fear God and give glory to Him because the hour of His judgment has come. All who dwell on the earth should also be invited to worship God as the creator of heaven and earth, the sea and springs of water. In Acts 1.8, Jesus indicates three geographic segments that must be reached by this missionary endeavor. Jerusalem, all Judea and Samaria, and to the end of the earth. Since the beginning, the church's pioneers understood that this enormous task could not be accomplished by one individual or by fragmented and disconnected church unities. They knew that the only way to achieve this objective was by emulating the apostolic church, being and working with one accord and having all things in common. So to reach every nation, tribe, tongue, and people, they organized the remnant of the Advent movement as the Seventh-day Adventist Church, where missionary strategies are decided not by one mind, but collectively through committees. Its members are elected by the whole body and all resources. The tithes and offerings are gathered in one place and distributed equitably, following collective decisions and strategies according to the biblical storehouse principle. This unified effort is crucial to the accomplishment of this end time commission to illuminate the whole world with the everlasting gospel before Jesus comes. And how are our offerings distributed so that every nation, tribe, tongue, and people can be invited to fear God and worship Him as Creator? In 2002, the World Church suggested the Combined Offering Plan, which is already adopted by 12 administrative regions or world fields. While the destinations of offerings suggested by the givers are always respected, this offering plan proposes that all non-assigned offerings should be automatically distributed following the geographical missionary segments mentioned by Jesus in Acts 1.8. So, 50 to 60% of all non-assigned offerings stay at the local level, usually the local church. 20 to 30% of all non-assigned offerings are applied to regional mission, usually administered by the conference or mission. And 20% of all non-assigned offerings are administered by the general conference and applied to the world mission. While following the combined offering plan guidance, offerings are distributed to support all approved projects, initiatives, ministries, and regions of the world. On the other hand, assigned offerings that should ideally be given only in addition to the unassigned ones can only cover the assigned project or destination, leaving all the others uncovered. According to this distribution plan, church members are invited to worship God by regularly bringing Him their promise, which is their regular and systematic offering given after the tithe. Promise is a regular offering because it is given after every income or increase. It is systematic because it is given under a proportional system, a previously decided or vowed percentage of every income. Promise offering is given not just when there is a call or a need, but every time members recognize that they were blessed by the Lord with an income. They give as an act of worship and not as a donation not to be blessed, but as a grateful response to the blessing. As important as it is, the tithe is a very restricted fund because it can be used only according to God's specific guidance in the Bible and the spirit of prophecy. So tithe funds can only cover a limited part of the missionary's expenses. Offerings, on the other hand, are an unrestricted fund and can cover all kinds of missionary needs. This distribution system of offerings, resembling the tithe distribution system, is based on mutual submission and mutual trust. It will allow our missionary work to receive an uninterrupted flow of resources that will be regulated by God Himself as He keeps blessing His people financially. By giving promise, non-assigned regular and systematic offerings, or by distributing your offering according to the pattern suggested by the combined offering plan, you are providing the necessary leverage that will bring the everlasting gospel to every nation, tribe, tongue, and people. 
and this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations, and then the end will come. 